way, I'm very thankful to my coaches. Siyempre, um, parang, of, you, you know, you, you still have to play within their system. Eh. Parang, um, and at the same time, you know, parang uh, maintain that fearless attitude na, you know, mm-hmm. you, whether you're big or small, you're older, then that's that's what I picked up in street basketball. Eh? Whether you're older than me, you're, you're stronger than me, or, you know, I, I, I want to win this game. Eh? Whether hmm. you're wearing shoes, or whether you're wearing shoes, and most, more often, often than not, I'm wearing slippers. So, parang ganun. Yun yung, yun yung nadala ko nung, ano. And siguro yung adjustment niya, as I said, it's you know I, I had good coaches back in you know in high school I was already uh, you know being mentored by the brothers of Coach Chot at that time so mm-hmm. when they they guided us well sina coach uh, my first coach in high school was Coach Billy Reyes and mm-hmm. then Mike and June Reyes so um inalagaan talaga kami and they had a good system and they you know, um, they prepared as well so so i was able to adjust it naman parang kumbaga uh, ituloy mo lang yung kumbaga hindi kanila as coaches they never you know they never they never tell you what you cannot do they just, mm-hmm. just they just let you play your game and you let them you know let they let you bring out what you can bring out as a player so mm-hmm. I, that's one big, uh, you know, one big uh, thing that you know I experienced playing for them. Mm-hmm. That's great, na yung support system talaga and mentorship at the high school level palang, kahit bata pa lang. I mean, even college, sobrang integral yun sa growth and development of athletes na gusto maging successful at their respective sports at that young age. Pero yung magandang part din ng career mo was in Ateneo you were part of the program nung high school pa lang, and then umakyat ka ng college. And not all the uh, players are like that, like lalo na now, na uso na yung recruiting. Pero yung Ateneo, madami pa rin silang homegrown players. Like, even the current team, like, I mean, yung Thirdy, the Nieto Twins, Asistro, Black. Like, ang dami nilang players na ganun. So, as an Ateneo student, athlete, what do you think is the reason kung bakit talaga nag-stick yung mga players sa uh, Ateneo, even for the collegiate level, like kahit anong offer siguro bigay ng ibang Lasal or UP, like UP now, malaki na rin yung sponsor, sponsorships and you, pero they still stick it out with Ateneo, kahit grade school nga, grade school pa nga lang yung iba, nagsistay na dun. And even from your time, like Enrico Villanueva yata, tapos Jai Reyes, ang dami nyo talaga na nagsistay pa. Um... Well, during our time kasi wala pa naman, hindi pa naman ganun ka-aggressive yung yung ano eh, yung recruitment eh. Uh, honestly, oh, okay. I was not at all. No one, mm. no one even tried to get me from Ateneo. Mm, okay. So, no one even asked me to play for them. Uh, <laughs> so, and siguro, you know, asa natin yan, starting from prep, parang, you're groomed, parang you're groomed to stay in the, the, the same school from, from start to finish eh. Mm. So, I felt eh, parang I was dead set in you know in in in, in studying uh, in uh, at Ateneo and playing for Ateneo kasi kasi yun yung kinalakayan ko eh um, uh, okay. wala na rin uh, wala oh, well, walang miski naman may kumuha sa akin miski mag, may mag-offer sa akin no? pero wala which is wala nga nag-offer <laughs> sa akin uh, meron uh, pero I would still you know stuck it with uh, with, you know, with, uh, with Ateneo because uh, syempre, yung, yung friends ko na, uh, you know, para mm. I'm, kumbaga, I'm accustomed to the life of, of studying in Ateneo. So, I've been, I've been there for, for, um, 12 years before college. So, parang, so, why, why, for me, why transfer? Pero, mm. ngayon, parang, uh, since, you know, parang, the programs of you know the other schools and of course i mean let's face it merong incentives that mm. other schools give uh it's very tempting it's very mm. tempting. that's those are i mean like those are the things that we didn't didn't have back in the day it's like for us it's just you know the pride of playing for Ateneo. 
no, y- y- yun lang yung amin. We weren't, I mean, we weren't getting anything from Ateneo except for for, <laughs> for free uh, college, which is, mm. you know, a very big help. Uh, Pero from that, we weren't getting any allowances. I mean, I was getting, I was getting na may, may, may allowance from, or my money from the PBL uh, team na I was mm. playing. So, but you know, I, I had no complaints. I'm very thankful, you know. Um, uh, those exper- parang those experiences you wouldn't you know you wouldn't uh, trade it for anything. So yeah, I'm, I'm thankful to the Ateneo uh, uh, for uh, uh, for letting me play for the school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure, successful sila nung nandun ka na champion nga sila nung nag go finals MVP pa kayo ni Larry for na share so. That's a great run for you guys. But I wanted to ask lang, you mentioned nga na yung motivation ng ibang tao na kasi ngayon, yung financial help or minsan pag-recruitment nga daw, yung ibang coaches na ririnig nila from players, like tatanungin ng player, oh, so what can you give me? Kagad yung first question. But then yun nga, you mentioned na yung ikaw or, or your other teammates then is playing for the school talaga. So nung time na yun, ano yung moment na nalaman mo na you could really pursue basketball as a profession like despite you know wala namang incentives wala masyadong bonuses before paano na yung paano na is paano mo na isip na pwede mo maging career ito sa UAP tapos PBA um ano na lang siya late ko na lang siya na realize na oh i can i actually never dreamed of playing in the PBA parang not like kids right now na parang they're dead set on you know, mm-hmm. I'm gonna play for PBA or parang, you know, uh, I'm gonna play for, for this team. Mm-hmm. No, I did wala akong ganung dream eh. Um, mm-hmm. uh, gusto ko lang naglalaro. Wala akong mm-hmm. or masyado lang ako siguro maiksi mag-isip. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was, I was really just enjoying the time that I was playing. Mm-hmm. So, I was really concentrating on like you know, parang, okay, after PB, after uh, college, I'm gonna join the draft this year. No, parang sa akin lang, I realized it very late, uh, very late stage of my college uh, basketball. Na, hmm. ah, meron palang, ah, gan, parang dun palang ako na-exposed na parang, ah, meron palang, ganito pala sa mara ng PBA. So this is how oh. you, how did you join the PBA? But, hmm. but, um, I've, I mean, it's, I've been a, a fan of San Miguel since I was a kid. Uh, I, I've oh, been okay. uh, Sam Boylim, mm-hmm. those uh, Hector Calma days of, of San Miguel. Mm-hmm. So, fan ako ng basketball ng, ng San Miguel. Pero, pero never ko nga inisip kasi parang, di ko naman alam kung gaano ako galing eh. Di ko naman alam <laughs> magaling ako, gusto ko lang naglalaro ako, gusto ko lang nananalo kami. Hindi ko naman iniisip na, ah, mas magaling ako dito sa teammate ko or mas magaling ako dun sa kalaban ko. Hindi. Mm. Uh, I never thought of that and, until na parang, oh, parang merong PBA, baka gusto mong sumali. O parang, oh, nga, no? parang, and I never thought about, and when I was about to join the PBA, parang my goal lang is to get drafted. Mm. Uh, even trying to be on top uh, or para I wasn't even trying to get the, the biggest salary but mm. for me syempre parang coming from coming from the the the, the college ranks na parang you weren't getting anything not like now na parang they they they, they have you know incentives whenever they win whenever they you know go to the final four sa amin walang ganun eh Mm-hmm. So, sabi ng incentive ang kumbaga, manalo lang tayo. Yun yung pinaka-incentive sa amin. So, mm-hmm. you know, joining the PBA, entering, I had no expectations at all. 